the value proposition of a digital twin at a high level is pretty easy to communicate. Uh, people get that if you can virtualize something that exists or could exist in the real world, uh, you can harness the, the, the superpowers of computers to get better at predicting and understanding or controlling the performance of that, that thing in the real world. But, but the actual implementation of digital twins in actual use cases that serve you know, actual de well-defined business goals, that requires clarity at a, at a much more granular level. So why is it so difficult? It is uh, a concept that spans uh, different business processes, uh, different industries, uh, different technologies. And so people bring not just different expertise, but different vocabularies to the concept. So even if you just limit the focus to real estate and construction, a conversation with a building operator about smart buildings is very different from one with a general contractor about a laser scan. But depending on the use case, they, they can both be talking about digital twins. It's like a, a prism, uh, and everybody's perspective is a single facet. So how, how does a glossary help? Um, a glossary uh, can provide a um, common vernacular for both the domain experts, the people who are designing and, and implementing digital twin solutions, and the people who want digital twins and are going to use digital twins. Um, and so if people are using the same language, it makes it easier to grow an industry-wide understanding and ultimately a knowledge base. Um, the, the Digital Twin Consortium is right now supporting uh, the development of, of open source uh, solutions around systems around digital twins. Um, and we need all those participants using the same terminology for that effort. Uh, and that's something that the glossary is supporting right now. And we already have had researchers using the glossary as a resource for uh, their PhD thesis. Um, and uh, ultimately, it'd be good if it was actually a resource for a digital twin buyer's specification and procurement process. So what's next uh, for the glossary? We've got a, uh, a governance process in place, uh, and we have uh, a digital twin consortium GitHub set up for reviewing and editing the glossary. Uh, right now it's just focused on terminology at a, at a very high level, uh, but the plan is to start incorporating more industry specific terms uh, for digital twins. Um, and right now contributions are limited purely to consortium members, but we have discussed at some point extending access to everyone. Um, we feel really strongly that if we can create clarity um, and consistent use of terminology around digital twins, uh, it makes it easier for the market to really understand what the term means, uh, which makes it easier to specify and buy, uh, and then ultimately for the solution providers to, to truly deliver on this transformational value they're promising. 